pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, do we have any public discussion? Yeah, there'll be um, public discussion. I had some, that's my fault, we didn't, didn't get it on the agenda, but uh, uh, we'll have National 4-H uh, Proclamation Week um, for this week, and uh, want to recognize that. Uh, okay. That's this current week? That's this current week. Okay. I was pulling up the document here. Jack, you got the message. Green, too. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> you read your mind. Good job. Never thought your outfit would be so popular, did you? No. Nope. <laughs> We're all green with envy. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, we, huh? we can read that when it comes in later. Okay. Sounds good. Anything you guys want to say about it? Is it for Do I have to do it? No. Um, every year, the first week in October is National 4-H Week, and that's nationwide. So, um, in Kasu County, we do different things each day during the week to celebrate National 4-H Week and promote the program within the county. Then we go to each school in the county and have a special theme for each day, and we took part in the band day parade, we took off the week, so just lots of activities that we do all week long to celebrate it and promote 4-H. We have 200, uh, just about 200 4-Hers in Kasuk County currently, so and well over 40, probably pushing 50 volunteers by the time it's all said and done with fair and everything that um, I take them into the 4-H program. Great. Yeah, appreciate all you do. I know we've got a good group down in, in Laverne area there and, and uh, I know all across the county. So um, I know you guys had wanted us to read the proclamation here, so let me if go ahead and read that. Go for it. This is Whereas 4 H is America's largest youth development organization, supporting nearly six million youth across the United States with the skills to be ready to lead for a lifetime. And whereas 4-H has helped countless youth in Kasuth County to become resilient, innovative, and forward-thinking leaders during the more than 100 years of service in Iowa, equipping young people with leadership, citizenship, and life skills needed to navigate an ever-evolving global landscape. And whereas 4-H is delivered by Cooperative Extension, a community of more than 100 public universities across the nation, that provides experiences where young people learn through hands-on opportunities in agricultural and natural resources, communication and the arts, healthy living, leadership and civic engagement, and science, technology, engineering, and math that build critical skills, ensuring they are prepared to thrive in their personal, academic, and professional lives. And whereas the theme for this year's National 4-H Week, Beyond Ready, highlights the organization's commitment to preparing youth to meet the challenges of tomorrow with confidence, resilience, and a sense of purpose while showcasing the remarkable ways that 4-H youth in Kasuth County work each day to make a positive impact on those around them. And whereas 4-H youth are beyond ready to lead with innovation, creativity, and a commitment to making a positive difference in their communities and beyond as proactive and engaged citizens, and whereas for Iowa 4-H's network of 6,718 volunteers provides caring and supportive mentoring to all 4-H members, helping them to grow into true leaders by fostering skills like decision-making, public speaking, and teamwork, <clears throat> ensuring that they are beyond ready to lead in their communities and future careers. 
All right. You still, we'll run. You still know the pledge, dude? <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> you go, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle still go. You were reading the proclamation. Oh, oh. I could leave it to you. So we will recognize National 4 H week then here in Kazoo County. Thank you. Thank, Thank you guys Thank for coming you. in. Thank you. Can you forward that to me, Kyle? Yeah. Thank you. We got the clearer thinking part. Though. Clearer thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank yep. you for Have coming. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. You bet. All right. Anything else for public discussion? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda in minutes. So moved. Okay. Motion and second. Is there any discussion? I missed the second. Jack. <coughs> yep. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. Monthly update from Secondary Road Farming. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what do you guys know today? Get mold done. You're testing them mowers out. <laughs> There's a lot of them. A lot of material there to get rid of. It's, it's hard to work. And it's dirty and dusty on top of it. Yeah. You start doing cleaning up the winter because you're tough for you know fast lines. Yeah. I was surprised at a number of just kind of bushes growing on the side of the road. There's roads that are two foot wall, mile long. You guys have a lot to go or how's progress? Um, we're just getting the first pass, and we're gonna. We've got. I've got three and a half territories of first pass yet, just to do the top edge. We haven't done anything in the ditch or back slopes or the weeds are growing. Or, you know, we've done black tops. We got a ton of more to do to turn it up for snow. You know? Well, at least we haven't had any snow yet or talk of it. <laughs> Thanks for jinxing it. <laughs> Fortunate forecast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, really use swear words. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> right. You got you know, you have to eat turkey before you put the wing on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it stays that way. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what Ray Beatty always said. You eat turkey and then you put the wing on. He's right. Oh, won't do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any questions from the board? Anything else? All right. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for what you Thanks. do, guys. RHC. I don't see them. Their information is in your packets. <coughs> All right, well, let's get to transfer from the auditor. Are there any questions on that? Anything you want to say? No, nope, it's Normal. our bigger one of our bigger months because of taxes. So. Mm -hmm. Any questions from the board? <coughs> not, we'll acknowledge the transfers. Um, could have told Doug to stay. Um, oh, is it yeah. way up to him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to give him a call? Or maybe he's still... <laughs> you probably run after him and get him. Oh, yeah. He'll yeah. probably be there, but... Well... You try calling, I'll try walking. I doubt he's all the way down there yet.
be so I can put the foreman on a couple things. Um, we want to do drainage quick. He said it might be a little bit. Yep. So. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to text Margaret. I can run down there too. No, I did. <clears throat> Anybody have any issues with it? Standing the way? Well, we had kind of talked about that one before, haven't we? Yeah, we talked yeah. on it last week. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any issue with it? I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> She's got a couple options in here, like the 10th or the 15th. I mean, I would think we could just do anything in October, anything till the end of the month or something. I don't know if it makes a big difference. Um, 10th will give you a couple of days, the 15th, but that was the to next week. Yeah. Um, we'll well, we Ooh, can't do a motion. We just lost our secretary. We got a march in here too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait till we're actually ready to roll here. All right, we are going to jump ahead to the waiver for um, DD 110 South Main. Um, you got October 10th and 15th as possibilities in here. Okay. Is there is there any issue with doing the whole month of October, or like, is there any time that we need to keep in mind? The treasurer needs to process. Sooner the better. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you have a list of people who get older that want to do it? Just the one. Just has the one. Me, so. Well, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the 15th? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd, I'd make motion to extend the waiver till for DD 110 South Main until October 15th. Okay. Is there a second to that? Okay. Jack seconds. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. Alright, and then we've got a claim for pack one main tile. It's in a folder. Anything you want to say on that? It's um it's a joint drain but all of it is in Alto County. Okay. Okay. Um it's eight hundred dollars. That is, is in the packet. Any questions on that? <laughs> is there a motion to approve this claim? Motion by Jarks. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. <coughs> Township for Don Bash, uh, obstruction in 15 inch main. Okay. Um, mine, I got 105 for Jerry Safner to repair, replace an animal guard on outlet pipe in Greenwood section 5. Then on that same <coughs> kind of area. He wants to investigate plugged, a blocked or broken tile in Harrison 32. Um, and 
got one for 108 is for Alden Haas and Lincoln 19, large washout needs repair. 109 is also for Alden Haas, broken tile, large washout, flagged in Lincoln 15. So that is what I have. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion the supervisors take care of their request. All right, is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye, aye. aye. Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. Anything else for drainage, Mark? Yeah, the last Wednesday. I went on site visits with FEMA to those four sites. Quite the crew, all caravan of cars all going out there. But, uh, um, but no, that went fine. Um, so moving forward with that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I did meet Nathan Schmidt from Bolton and Mank over in Whittemore that last week and did televise the tile going through town there. So. I need, need, need to watch some of that. Yeah, there's three that's in there. Plenty of them. So, yeah. Okay. You need to look at that closer yet here and get, get a plan put together. Okay. Was the water level pretty low? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's been running all summer. It's just sure. very little running. Yeah. 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 It's slow. So it took a while to get down. But, yeah. We haven't had rain for how long? Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. Anything else for training the chair? All right. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. What's that? I got two more requests. One's in your area. Okay. Nicole. Yeah. Yeah. And that's good. Another one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, Mark. Sounds good. Um, Doug, construction right away. Uh, yes, we've got a few things to just take to talk about. Uh, the first one would be Iowa Lakes Electric Cooperative. Uh, they have a request to uh, eliminate an overhead uh, utility and place it underground, a service line. Uh, this would be going under McGregor B40, 210th Street, um, east of 40th Avenue between sections 10 and section 30 of Whittemore Township. And I would uh, recommend that the board would approve of this request. Motion to approve the request. Thank you. All right, is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. Who seconded that? All right. If you'll sign that, please. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. The second discussion point, I guess, is uh, Dennis Bali has approached us about doing some uh, crossing 30 Avenue up north, north of 385 Street, between 385 and 390 Street. And he has submitted applications, however, he does not have a concurrence from the downstream landowner at this time, and we are expecting that at any time. Uh, if Dennis would provide all the paperwork that's necessary, does the board have any concerns about giving verbal uh, permission to him to cross that gravel road? That's fine with me. Okay, thank you. Uh, we do have a final payment for the bridge on the uh, Boat Holbarton Road. Um, the total 
the contract was $631,625. The ending uh, bridge cost was $629,064.50. Uh, all of this is federally funded, but uh, we do need a signature from the chair, Kyle. So if you would sign that, please. And then we have plans ready for the bridge north of Sexton. Uh, for the board to sign these plans, uh, we're planning to have a letting date on November 12, so uh, we'll get this advertised, get it out to contractors so that they can bid on this work. So if the board would sign those, please, and just pass it down. Thank you. However, uh, looking at some of our most recent bids, I think it's going to be uh, higher than that. But once we put together an uh, estimating proposal, we'll have our estimate and we'll be able to we'll, uh, We will make that uh, engineer's estimate available to the public as well. So, uh, Okay yeah, discussion? go forward for discussion, yep. Um, we did receive a resignation from an operator of Bancroft, our Bancroft shop. So we are going through the process of getting that position in place. Uh, the safety action plan meeting we had last Friday, Carissa Mueller did attend, and Doug Crouch. We did not have very many people attend that, but thank you, Carissa, for doing that work. Um, It was a productive meeting, and uh, uh, we were made aware of some different opportunities for funding and some also some different safety um, situations where we may be able to use some different safety plans. One thing that got brought up interestingly is uh, painting of edge lines. They value that quite a bit, especially the curves, but off the road runoffs, which rural areas have um, is needed and I, I would hope that uh, the board will uh, fund that in the future. Uh, I do, we do need a tag trailer, we lost one. Uh, it is, I think it was in 1992, but uh, we are planning on trading that in and I am taking, I did get a request for quotes out Take your quotes on that, and I'll have that for the board to approve that purchase next week. Uh, the road department, we have a safety meeting November 15th scheduled, uh, and that will be at the Nature Center. Construction, the Bridge of Merriman's uh, are working on right now. They have uh, driven the south abutment. They have the north abutment, north pier, and south pier all completed. Uh, we did not. Uh, we had some problems achieving bearing uh, with the piling, so we are extending the piling and we are, will drive them until they do achieve bearing. Uh, after that, they'll pour concrete. We would assume that that's going to happen this week, and then they will be getting all their false work uh, constructed and getting that deck formed up. So I would assume in a, a couple of weeks, uh, we'll have that concrete bridge uh, poured. Uh, the drainage district 60 north of Sway City, uh, they have one more road crossing, 480th Street, and I believe that that should be, if not the end of this week, the beginning of next week, and then that'll have all the road crossings complete. 
Uh, the culvert out to the southeast of Algona, 132 Avenue, that is completed. Um, cross pipe on A16, that work was completed last week. Uh, we are working with uh, FEMA on the two disasters, and we continue to get that going. We're mowing, the road department is mowing. Um, the railroad crossing on P20, we're receiving a lot of phone calls trying to get to the railroad on that. Uh, reminding the public that there are blue placards on each railroad cross buck if there is a problem with an intersection that does have a identification for the intersection and it does have a phone number to call the cross and the public sure can do that as well. But there's some ultimately the railroad's responsibility to those uh, those crossings. Um, I, have you talked at all about the TIF, Tammy? No, uh -uh. no. I don't Go ahead. Want to speak or, Go ahead. Uh, Tammy received the uh, concurrent statements for cities last week and sent them out to all all the cities in Kasuk County as well as Corwith and Buffalo Center. Is that correct? Correct. Um, Corwith. I don't believe has received theirs yet. I'm waiting for a phone call back with a good email address. So that email address I had came back, but um, so I'm waiting for them to get a hold of me. But Buffalo Center, um, yes, I did send theirs. So, yeah. And last night, uh, Friday, the city of Wesley requested that uh, Tammy and I visit with them or attend their meeting, uh, which was last night. We went over there. Uh, they had quite a few questions, but they wanted their attorney, their city attorney, to review that letter of concurrence. So, the letter of concurrence is out. Um, I think it would be uh, good for the board. We have our plan A, because the county has a plan A. Um, you, you may want to play devil's advocate and ask what what happens if the cities do not give concurrence? What is the board going to do? Uh, November 12, is it? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So, because that that is the that is the last day that if you're going to have this action taken by this year, that, that has to be done. So. That's when the public hearing is going to be. So. Um, if I understand right what Amy told us, she's going to ask you to waive the other readings and just do the one reading so you'll approve it that day on November 12th, if I understand it correctly. Yep. Okay. If the cities don't concur with it, do you have to just have a bigger area around the city? I think you just mean? can't include those projects that are listed Correct. within the two mile right. radius. You just have to map off. Right. So many no. Well, the projects are listed as any construction on secondary roads that the city county has jurisdiction over. So you would have to rephrase that. Yeah. So you didn't send the list that we had? You yeah. just sent everything? Well, yeah, they have everything. Yeah. Okay. The attorneys. They, they put it in that language. It. Okay. It's not specific projects, but the language is yep. all secondary roads, mm -hmm. all roads and bridges. Okay. So. Okay. Thanks for going to that last night. No. You're welcome. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Doug. Right. Thanks, Thank Doug. you. Thanks. Have a good day. You, you too. Thank you. Discussion with our office. Okay. So, like Doug said, we were in Wesley last night. Um, I know Carter. They mentioned they may be reaching out to you. Um, 
I did tell them that I didn't know if you'd have a lot more than what Doug had given them, but they may be reaching out to you as well to attend. Who's that? The City of West City. Oh. To attend their next meeting. Council meeting. Yeah, they okay. were going to reach out to their attorney and then maybe put it on their calendar for November, I think, 4th, maybe they said, um, if they're having their next meeting. Um, election day. They're not the day before. Day before, yeah. because they, it's set for the 11th, but that's a holiday, so yeah. I think they're moving it to the 4th. Veterans day. So um, I think that's when they're having. So they may be reaching out to you about that too, that they were going to reach out to their attorney. Their next one's November 4th. I believe so. Yes. I'm just going to write it down just so it's clear. Yeah. So, um, and then um, none of the other cities um, have requested any further information other than what we sent them. I know Whittemore was having it on their agenda last night. They have not heard anything from that yet. So um, we should be hearing things as we go. So I'll keep in touch with them, um, make sure that it's not falling in the cracks. Yeah. So Thank you. Um, next week. We have uh, approving the resolution to set the date for the public hearing on the designated um, expansion of the urban renewal. So we'll set the date for that next week. And then, um, except for our regular stuff, that's all I have um, for next week. <coughs> the auditor's office is busy with elections right now. Lots of absentee ballot requests coming in. We can start mailing out ballots October 16th, so next Wednesday. Um, we're getting ready to for our trainings, our public tests. Remember, the 15th next week, I guess that's not in there, but um, our public test is at 10 o'clock, so hopefully you guys can attend. Um, we'll hopefully be done by 10 and you guys can come over. Don't have to stay the whole time, but at least observe some of what happens during the public test. Um, um, so, yeah, we're right in the middle of election season, and that's pretty much all I have. Um, I did want to mention um, about our sanitarian. Um, if you guys want to talk to us <coughs> afterwards, just a couple um, cleanup issues with this office and pickup. So um, we're going to be working on that um, and then decide how to move forward with that position. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, for discussion and committee reports, back. We had an IDEA meeting Wednesday. Um, we had some discussion on the drainage laws. Quite a bit of it had to do with levy districts, and if people want to separate the levy district out of the drainage law, the problem with that is you, all the precedents that we have now in drainage law, which will all be thrown out, and you start all over again with all these court cases. So it's our opinion that to leave it alone and let it as it is. Um, the levy districts on the Missouri have been neglected, and that's part of the problem. Um, getting ready for legislative action and talking to representatives and, and that's the majority of what we did this month, next month we'll plan for the annual meeting which will be December, what is it, December 6th, and same place, same time. Any questions? Pretty smooth. There's only four of us there. Do they have any update on the legislation from other or the lawsuits, the litigation from other counties like we on got railroads. with the railroad? We've been asking, and no other counties finished with litigation with okay. the railroads. It's all the same thing. The railroad is claiming that they don't have to pay, and we're saying that they do, and our attorney says that they have to pay. So. So far, we haven't went to court yet. I don't know how close you are over there. Um, probably a ways away from court, but I think the last thing was just a response from our attorney, but I don't think we ever got a response to that yet. So, okay. I mean, there's about three other cases that are very similar. They, yeah, they 
I think we got to the point where we're not arguing about the actual merits of the project at all anymore. It's just who's paying for what. So they're, they're now they're at they're at the point where they say, yeah, we'll let you do this. And not no problem. It's just the money part that mm -hmm. you're dealing with. So Yeah. What day did you say that was? Like December sixth? Six. No one that is that nine or it's usually nine o'clock, but usually you got lunch at eight thirty or whatever. Breakfast, snack. I think we all eat all go most times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully we can make some progress all the way across the state on that issue. Yeah. That's a lot of dollars. Well and there's Farmers North of Dakota that would really appreciate that that tile would work. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Because they've had a, it was a big area this year up there that didn't have nothing. Oh, it's a big area that's been drowning out for 30 years or better, probably. Yeah, it's been bad for a while. Yeah. All right, anything else? That's about it. Josh? I had no meetings last week. Um, tomorrow we do have uh, our hazmat team with MACDOG um, meeting, and then I've got the TSP afterwards, the Tech Services Bureau meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had wellness last Wednesday. Um, much going on, I guess. Uh, and then met with FEMA. That was probably the biggest thing the last week. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's about Did it. you turn in three sites? We turned in four sites <coughs> in FEMA. And I guess waiting to hear from them, but got three bids from all the contractors. Okay. Or bids from three contractors for all the sites, is what I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, I don't think I have anything, so. Alright. Anything else for the good of the county here? If not, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Alright. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. 8.39. Is that a record? Yep, I think so. We've never done it. Four minutes long. faster than me. Should <laughs> have talked a couple more minutes. You got that one, huh?